One more day with DeFi IoT. How are you doing out there in the crypto world? It's another good day to be alive. There's challenges. There are. And I want to talk to you. We got another MXCM2 Pro Miner. I want to share with you a little more why we keep buying these. So let's go ahead and take a look. We'll do a little unboxing. You've seen it before, but we'll see what's new coming. The last one, we got some different stuff. So I kind of want to show you what's new in the box. And uh, going to show you where we're going to put these two in one house, how we can avoid that 7% reduction. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it right now. As you can see, we're still at our mining farm up every day, driving almost two hours to the, the real estate property that we're trying to get ready to sell with the group and go looking for a place to build a mining farm. We're looking for 100 acres in a cool area. We're looking probably about five, 6,000 square, the, the foot elevation, square feet. I'm thinking that we've been working on the construction. I'm actually out getting dirty. We'll show you what some of our progress here next week, all right? So. We got the unboxing here. And we got our dog in the background jacking away. We got the unboxing. Let's go ahead and get the dog out first. All right, we got the dog out of the pen now. She wanted a little bit of attention. So what do we got here? Well, we got a beanie. MXC, run MXC. It's like run DMC, I guess, you know, can't go off of that. So we got a beanie, this is gonna work good for where we're gonna be going and building our mining farm. Yeah, it's a little bit big on me though. Yeah, I gotta fit two heads in here, but that's all right, I guess it's for everybody. And you got an umbrella. I'll probably need that too for the snow. Yeah, black umbrella, I thought maybe it might say something on it. Like MXC, it doesn't though, it's just a black umbrella, which kind of surprises me actually. All right. We got an MXC token. Really cool. Didn't get that in the last box. I don't know why. I have to write them a letter. Didn't get that in the last box. Got the same thing, but no MXC token. And then we got our, our miner, right? Match X, which you've seen. We'll go outside and take a look at the other one that's already up. That's what comes in the box now. So what we'll do is head on outside, take a look at where we're gonna put these two in the same house. Remember in April, you can actually, there's actually a, an area now where you can have these closer together and you're not gonna get a penalty and get reduced. And then we'll talk a little bit about uh, how we're coming back after we emptied almost $8,000 three weeks ago. What's our percentage? Remember we dropped down to 40%, so we'll talk a little bit about that too. So let's, let's go ahead and go outside and take a look at this this MX, MXC, the M2 Pro Miner that we have up now, then we're thinking about putting the other one so that we can avoid that 7% reduction between now and April, which is not a really big deal. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so we got this MXC M2 Pro Miner here, right? Now I'm thinking about, we got the second one we just got for here. Then the one we had last week, this is a total of five, right? So I think we're gonna take it and move this clear up on the other side over there on that side of the house and then bring the new one up here we're going to put a helium hot spot I'm waiting for the bobcats to show up but if they keep delaying we're going to take even longer so let's walk over here so we'll go here like this now remember in april we'll be able to have these m2 pro miners closer so i think we'll go up here and put it up here somewhere there's a dish over there so we're going to put it up there and that would give us two of them here. So on each side of the house almost looks like, you know, I'm at my, almost at my neighbor's house here. So they'll register or the GPS. But I can get two of them here. We did this before down in South America. We're not having any, any reduction at all of that 7%. But keep in mind, in April now, you'll be able to take these 
and leave these in one area, right? Like within, like if this 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 block area, you'll be able to put these up and not get penalized at all. So you can have you can have more than one. Can't remember what it is if it's three or if it's five, but you'll be able to have more in one area. I have to confirm that. If anybody knows right off hand, you can put it down below. So let's talk a little bit about why we're doing MXC and keep buying more MXC, even though they're expensive. All right, look, one reason why we like these MXCs is you see behind me here, you can see there's three antennas, but there's a place for four. Apparently that fourth one is to be 5G. So when you're paying $3,000 and all you gotta do is buy that antenna, don't know what the price can be for that 5G antenna, you can get then adapt that to 5G. Apparently it's what we've been told, right? So we're gonna see how that plans out down the road. When you're buying Helium 5G, you're still spending, you know, $2,500 or more on Helium 5G on what's available right now. So if we start talking about why then we want to buy, get more MXC Pro Miners, look, look what's going on with Helium right now. You know, they're gonna come up now in April, looks like in May, and they're gonna go light hot spots. They're gonna make that transition. Then there's gonna be some downtime apparently. And we don't know exactly which of those hotspots, which companies are actually going to, to pass over because they have to put their own applications. They have to maintain now their own systems with Helium. Helium's not going to do it anymore. So we don't know. I mean, what's Secret going to do? What are some of these other ones going to do that aren't really the, the most popular or have some problems? Um, you know, Finestra Miner. I don't see that as being... It's, crossing over with Mimic. I don't think they had a lot of huge success. Now, I don't know. I'm just saying we don't know which ones will cross over yet. So I'm concerned about that because you, you spend money on these things. We got a bunch of them because we have this network set up. And uh, we don't know. Now, these MXC miners, that's what they got. The M2 Pro. Now, if they come out with an M3 or whatever, they're not, you know, I don't think they're going to make these obsolete. I hope they don't. You know, you're seeing a lot of kind of See, I think dirty things going on right now, things that shouldn't be taking place with a community that's actually providing the infrastructure. Games shouldn't be played with us like this. We're upfront and transparent with Helium even. You know, we don't know if we're going to lose our money now. Also, in with Planet Watch, that's just absurd about how fast they're, they're just running out of paying the planets. So people have bought all these, these, these devices, like us, for example. We've helped all these people buy these devices, and we're, you know, we're taking care of this for them and helping these poor people down in Latin America. And now we're down to 80 cents a day. That's pretty pathetic. So what's one thing we like about M the MXC? You know, right now helium's down. Planet is tanked for now. Let's hope, let's hope they come back someday, but I think it's going to be long term. MXC has actually gone up. Why exactly? I don't know. Maybe because it's so easy. It's just plug and play, literally. You just plug it in and play it. And it just makes money. Now, remember we drained these about three weeks ago. We dropped down to 40%. We took it all out. We took almost $8,000 out. Dropped down to 40%. Each week we seem to be going up about a percent. We're about three points above. We're about 43% now. And of what our maximum earnings are. Obviously our, our gas is lower because we drained it low, right? Almost completely drained the whole gas tank out. I'm not going to leave my money in there forever, especially with all the hacking that's going on. So my idea is to take it out at least every year. And with that, I'll buy one or two more, and then the other ones will run at 40% until they build themselves up, and we'll see where it goes to. Some people I've heard have got back to 80% without doing anything, but that's going to come over time. So I, if it gets to that, I'll be happy. So that's what we're doing. That's why I like M, the, the M2 Pro Miners, and this is why we bought more of them. So we got two more. We got a total of five. We're going to buy one more in June. That'll give us six. And then we'll go from there and see where the, where the project actually go. I want, to, I want to see some more consistency. I want to see a better roadmap from them before we invest more. I feel like we can get our money back out and before the year's up. And um, that's why we're going with it. So it's just easy. Just plug and play. It's just that simple. So we're going to hook the other one up uh, this week or this week probably on the other side. And we'll do another video. We'll hook the other one up and we'll let you know where we are right now. All right. So DeFi, IoT, hit the subscribe button, please. If you haven't subscribed yet, make that yellow button turn gray. Give us a thumbs up and hit the bell. We'll come at you tomorrow with more information. See ya. We hope you enjoyed this segment of our video with DeFi IoT. Remember, we're not professional advisors. 
We do this as a business, as a hobby, and we study, we experiment, and we want to share it with you. If you can get some benefit from this, great. What we do is we go out, we purchase with our own money, and we experiment to see what true results are. We want you to be able to share in our experiences so you don't have to lose like we have. If you can win where we've won, fantastic. Remember to do your own research and your own homework. It's very important before you make any decisions. We will see you in our next video.